Hey, I'm Chris with Razorback Off-Road. Today I'm gonna to run you through the installation of our new Polaris General folding front windshield. I'll go over a couple tools we need first. I'm gonna be using an impact driver. I've also got a drill with a quarter inch bit, a number three Phillips screwdriver, a 7 16 wrench and socket, a 3 8 wrench and socket, and then a 15 millimeter socket. To start out, I'm going to grab our front panel here. It's the upper mount for the windshield. Set it here and you'll see how it fits right up into this area here. You'll see there's gonna need to be four holes drilled in our factory visor up here. So we'll jump into the inside and I'll show you right where to drill those holes. So as you can see, we've already mounted a windshield on this machine, so the holes are already drilled. But when you look in here, there will be a bracket coming off your roll cage, and that will have two ovals in it. We're gonna wanna tie into the bottom of those ovals. So right in the center, down at the bottom here, you'll drill a quarter inch hole. All right, so now that we've got our holes drilled in our visor here, we're ready to go ahead and install the upper windshield panel. We've got our spacers, which will go in between the windshield panel and the visor, our inch and three quarters, quarter by 20 bolts, washers and nuts. So we'll start with this side. I'm gonna get everything lined up. It's easiest to kind of look from the inside. Now our panel's held in place. Now I can go ahead and do the same to the other side. To get this spacer in here, you can kind of hold it this way. Then you'll be able to swing the spacer up in there. Just gives you a little something to grab onto. After we get all the bolts in, we can kind of push it up, make sure it's seated in there nicely. And I will grab the 7 16 wrench and the impact. Now you don't need to tighten these down too much where you'll crush that spacer, but tighten it down just enough where it doesn't have any more play in it in the spacer in there. Next, we're gonna move on to the lower portion of our windshield. Your windshield will come with two sections of gasket here. It's about 12 inches long. We're gonna lay that onto the front face. That will help the lower panel seal. I'm going to line it up right with the corner of this plastic, the outer fender here and it will go over to sit right on top of this bump stop here. Then I'm gonna grab my 15 millimeter socket and install our lower mount for the windshield. Make sure you reach your finger on the inside of the cage and hold the nut in the cage because it is a little bit difficult to get it back in if that falls out. So I'll just keep my finger on the nut in the cage, pull the factory bolt out, grab our lower windshield mount and install it just like this. So when you're installing the lower brackets, you'll see a little flat spot in the cage here. All, you're just gonna wanna make sure you line up with that. It'll, it'll pretty much seat itself when you tighten this down. You'll kinda see it move itself into place. Now I'm gonna move on to the other side and put our gasket strip on and our lower windshield mount. So when you're installing these gasket strips, if you have a brand new machine, you might just wanna clean the plastic a little bit even if you have a used machine you're putting this on, to get the gasket to really adhere, you might wanna use a little bit of alcohol or maybe a little brake clean just to get any oils or anything off that plastic. All right, now we are ready to install the lower windshield panel here. 
can set it in place, see what it's gonna look like. We're going to use the three quarter inch long quarter by 20 bolts for this. And you'll see right where it goes into the lower mounts here. We're gonna leave them loose. That way we can adjust the windshield if needed. There, now we have our lower panel in place. You'll see that it has these little slots so you can actually adjust it up and down a little bit. And we are ready to put the windshield glass on. To put the glass in, you may, you'll probably wanna grab two people for this. But we will line up the hinges just like that. and just lay it down. Now we'll grab our, the two stainless bolts that our windshield comes with are for the hinges. We'll pin it in place so it can't fall. And I'll also throw our two stainless nuts are also for the hinges. So now you'll be able to check out your window fitment a little bit. You can see that there's a little gap below that roof line up here in the center. And we'll want to get that as close as possible so we have the most seal against our upper panel. So I'm actually going to hold this up a little bit when I tighten this down. To do that, I will use the 3 8 socket and 7 16 wrench and just get a little bit more snug on it. and then double check my fitment. So it looks like we have good clearance up there and our gasket seals along the inside. So now we can go ahead and tighten them down. We can also take our number three Phillips and tighten our hinges down. So our windshield is not coming off again. We won't want to go too tight with these because it'll put resistance on the windshield when you're folding it, but you can tighten it down and just check movement. Okay, now we'll do a final snug on this side. Now you can go ahead and lock your windshield in. Make sure that fits nicely. Next step will be the front rest for the windshield. So the easiest way to install these front rests is to use the windshield as your template. What I like to do is take a piece of masking tape and just lay it down on the top side of this fender. That way, while we're sliding our bracket around, we're not going to scratch anything. Then I'm going to grab our front bracket. The driver's side, you'll see it slopes towards the back of the machine, just like this. I'm gonna just kind of pick a, pick a location, it's just a guess for right now, and tape it on just so it's held in place. I'll do the same for the passenger side. Now we're able to flip our windshield down. All right, so now our brackets are actually holding the windshield up. And since they're taped on there, we can kind of just pull the tape up and slide it into place. You'll see the notch in the windshield. That's where our hood latch needs to hook onto. So we can flip the hood latch up and kind of line it up in place. You'll want to be able to look at it just like this and imagine it hooking in. And then we'll tape it in place. And do the same for both sides before we start drilling. All right, 
We're gonna do the same on this side. You can see I was pretty far off. We'll line it up just like that. So now we can see that it's gonna flip up and lock right in. Put it in place with the tape. We'll want to make sure that this bracket is pushed all the way against the fender and down. Now that we've got our locations picked out, we can flip our windshield up. Our brackets will stay in place because of the tape. And we are ready to drill our holes. So on, on this machine, our holes have already been drilled. But for you, you will leave the bracket right in place. Just push it against the machine. And you'll use this as the drill template. You don't need to move it or anything. You can drill right through the tape, through your fender, in all four locations on both sides. Then we'll be ready to, we can remove the bracket, remove our tape, and we are ready for our final install. For that, we'll use our quarter inch bolts with washers and nuts. We'll use our washer on the inside of the fender with a nylock nut. Now we'll be able to use our 3 8 socket, the 7 16 wrench, and tighten everything down. I'll go over and do the same to the other side. Now that we've got our front brackets all tightened down, we can actually flip the windshield down, double check your fitment, and you're good to go. Now that we've got our front windshield rests installed, we can flip the windshield down, double check everything lines up. It should have some nice tension on there and fit in nicely. Double check, we don't need to do any final adjustments down here. We wanna have a good overlap. You don't wanna hit the roof, but we wanna be close to it. And you should be good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of us. Otherwise, I hope to see you out on the trail. Ha, ha, ha.